Just as God said. Just as God said. Copyright 2019 by Marianne Manley. By Marianne Manley. Permission granted to copy the book. The goal of this book is to help people to be saved and to know the truth of what God has done, is doing, and will do. Special note to parents. Just as God said is the truth of what God says in the Holy Bible in a large font. An ideal book for developing a child's understanding, love, and respect for God's holy word. A panoramic overview of the Bible with lots of great pictures that is easy to understand on several levels. A very young child can look at the pictures and a few words. Parents can read the book to them. Older children can read the book for themselves. Studious people can look up the verses to make sure it is. Just as God said, a simple timeline of the true events in the Bible. Time past Matt, John, the Lord and glory, rapture, grace, all and the church mystery Roman Solomon. But now, second coming, Peter out of commission, begs to come, Heb Rev. God's plan, the Bible. Why do we do wrong things? The seven days, God gave Adam and Eve one rule. Adam and Eve did not obey God. Adam and Eve knew they had done wrong. God said Adam and Eve had to leave the garden. Adam and Eve had children. The flood, Tower of Babel, Abraham, Moses, David, Daniel, Jesus the promised Redeemer. Jesus was tested by Satan in the wilderness. Contents Jesus had 12 special followers called the Apostles. Jesus declared himself to be the King of the Jews. Jesus died on the cross. He was buried. He rose up from the grave in a body that will never die. Thomas looks at the nail prints. Jesus went back to heaven. Peter preached to the men of Israel on Pentecost. The salvation of Saul of Tarsus, Paul, the Jerusalem Council. Why did God keep the mystery a secret? Things, Paul said. Paul wrote the last words in the Bible. The rapture, the tribulation, second coming of Christ, the great white throne, new heaven and new earth. The Kingdom of God What must I do to be saved? You are here. The Holy Bible About the Author We I am grateful for my patient husband Chuck and daughter Grace. This book is dedicated to all my Facebook friends who prayed for this book for children to be written. A special thank you for the prayers of Rajesh Narati and the Little Lambs Orphans in India. What happened to your hand? The girl wanted to ask Jesus, what happened to your hand? Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus died for our sins, was buried, and rose again the third day, just as God said. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 3 and 4 The girl wanted to ask Jesus, what happened to your hand? Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus died for our sins. No one that is imperfect can stand before Holy Father God. But, when we believe that Jesus died for our sins and rose again, then we receive the Son of God's righteousness and can come before God. God made him to be sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God in him, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21, just as God said. Jesus loves all the little children of the world. God's plan. God had a plan before he created anything. God planned to make one wonderful heaven and a wonderful earth. God planned to live in both places with the creatures he created. God is love. God loves us. God has told us the truth in his book, the Holy Bible. Thy word is truth. John 17, 17b. Before he created and made anything God was. From everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Psalm 90 verse 2. God is one God in three persons. God the Father. God the Son. God the Holy Ghost. All three love each other.
God wanted to make a place for him to live and creatures to live with him. Before God created anything they talked, they made a plan, Acts 2 verse 23, 1 Peter 1 verses 18 to 20. God wanted to have two places for his creatures to live. He wanted his creatures to have free will. God wanted them to decide on their own to believe him. They could choose to do right or wrong. If our creatures make the wrong decision, the son said, I love you, father, send me, I will go and pay for their wrong. The father said, as much as I love you, my son, I will have to let you go and rescue them. You are the only one who can save them. I trust you and my word will guide you. I know you can do it. The Holy Ghost said, I love you both. I support and trust all that you do. God also had a secret, a mystery, that he would not tell anyone, until he was ready to. The Son is the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world, Revelation 13 verse 8. He is God's special rescuer, Psalm 40 verse 8, Hebrews 10 verses 4 to 7. God. The Father. God. The Son. God. The Holy Ghost. God is love. 1 John 4 verse 8, KJV. There is none like God, Isaiah 46 verse 9. Each person of the Godhead, 1 John 5 verse 7, loves and esteems the other two persons more and better than themselves. That's love, and that's holy, Philippians 2 verse 3. The Bible. Holy Bible. The Bible is God's book to us. Now that the Bible is finished and complete, God only talks to us through the Bible. The Bible tells us three important things. 1. Where we came from. 2. Why are we here? 3. Where are we going? God's word is true. What God says is the important thing, not what a man says. God talks to us through the Bible. We talk to God in prayer. That is why we need to learn to read so we can read the Bible for ourselves. Tame. Holy Bible. God loves you and wants you to live with him eternal in the heavens. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 1. God is perfect. Bad news. No one who is not perfect can come before God. All people do wrong things, even mom and dad. Good news. God has made a way for people who do wrong to come to heaven. But first we have to admit that we do wrong things and need God to help us. Have you ever done anything wrong? Do you share your toys? 24. Do you share your treats? Have you ever said, this is mine and I will not share, or only shared a small part? That is being selfish. Have you ever taken something that you were not allowed to take? Have you ever disobeyed? Sometimes we may even think something bad. Everyone is born knowing right and wrong. Everyone is born wanting to do wrong. Everyone also does wrong. If you think that you are perfect and have no need for God, then God cannot help you. The Bible says there is no one who does right. No, not one. There is none righteous and not one. Romans 3 verse 10. Why do we do wrong things? There are several reasons why we make wrong choices. God gave his creatures free will. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Genesis 1 verse 1. God created them perfectly. God does everything perfect the first time. God created them in this order. Heaven, angels, earth. 1. God made one heaven. If your Bible says God made more than one heaven at this time, then you have a false Bible. You need to find the true Bible. 2. God made the angels and other heavenly creatures. After God made heaven, he made the creatures to live in heaven. God made seraphims with six wings, cherubims with four wings, and angels with no wings, Isaiah 6 verse 2, Ezekiel 1 verse 6, Acts 1 verse 10. 3. God made the earth. When God made the earth, the angels shouted with joy. But then when one cherub named Lucifer was on earth he said, I will be like the Most High God. Isaiah 14 verse 14. Lucifer talked some of the angels into joining him. They decided not to obey God and to follow Lucifer. Isaiah 14, Ezekiel 28. 
God said he had found evil in Lucifer and his name was changed to Satan, Ezekiel 28 verse 15. God said that if any more angels joined Satan and his angels, they would go into the giant trash, can called the lake of fire, Matthew 25 verse 41. The good angels stayed with God because they knew God would do just as God said. God said that Satan and the angels that disobeyed God could not stay with God and had to leave. God cast them out. God closed off a part of heaven for him to live in. The rest of heaven became dark. God filled most of heaven and earth with water. 2 Peter 3 verses 5 and 6. Everything was dark. The earth was empty and had lost its shape. Genesis 1 verse 2. Satan and his angels had left the earth. God had a plan. The Spirit of God moved over the waters. God let his light come back into that part of heaven. God said, let there be light. And there was light, just as God said. God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. 1 John 1 verse 5. God spoke and in six days God created the animals, a man and woman, and made the heaven and earth nice again. Then he rested. He said that each of the six days were good, except for day two. That was because Satan and his bad angels were still there. In fact, they are still in the heavenly places today. God let the heavenly places, we call it outer space, remain dark. Angels do not like the dark. The Seven Days Day 1, God divides light and darkness. Good. Day 2, God divides water from the waters. Day 3, God divides the dry land from the seas. Plants grew. Good. Day 4, God made the sun, moon, and stars. Good. Day 5, God created birds and sea creatures and great whales. Good. Day 6, God brought forth animals and created mankind. Very good. Day 7, God rested. Which days did were not called good by God? God called it good when it matched God's plan. God said everything that he did in the six days was good, not all things. God gave Adam and Eve one rule. God wanted the first man and woman, Adam and Eve, to rule over earth and everything in it, with God ruling over them. God told Adam, you may eat from every tree that I have made except one tree. If you eat fruit from that tree, you will die. Satan did not want the people to rule over him. He had a plot to turn the people against God. Satan is against everything that God wants. Satan did not come to Adam, he came to Eve. He asked, did God say you would die if you ate fruit from that tree? Yes. Eve said, we are not even to touch that tree. If you eat that tree, you will not die. Satan lied. That tree will make you wise so that you will know all that is good and all that is bad. Eve looked at the pretty fruit. It looked like it would taste good. God doesn't want you to eat the fruit because it will make you like him. Satan went on. You will be as gods. Eve wanted to be wise like God. Why don't you eat the fruit? Satan said. Adam and Eve did not obey God. So Eve took fruit from the tree, and she ate it. She gave some to Adam, and he ate too. They wanted to be like gods and judge good and evil apart from God. Oh no, first God had trouble in heaven, and now God had trouble on earth. The light in them went out. They had been created to live forever, but now they began to die. Bad came upon everything that God had made on earth. Instead of ruling over the earth, the people joined Satan. Satan had done wrong, and Adam and Eve did wrong. God said they had to leave the garden. Satan was able to continue to rule on the earth. With their light gone, Adam and Eve saw they were naked, so they sewed fig leaves together to make themselves aprons to cover them. Then God came as usual to walk and talk with Adam and Eve. They heard him and hid themselves among the trees. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. Genesis 3 verse 8 Adam and Eve knew they had done wrong. 
The Lord God called unto Adam, and said unto him, Where art thou? Genesis 3 verse 9 Adam said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. Genesis 2 verse 10 Because they did wrong, God said that Eve would have pain when she had a baby, and that her husband would rule over her. Because Adam had listened to Eve, and ate of the tree that God said not eat of, he had to work hard and sweat in order to have food to eat. The ground was cursed, from now on weeds and thistles would grow in it. The serpent was cursed more than all creatures, and his head would be crushed. Everything God had made had to suffer, because of what Adam and Eve did. Adam and Eve's aprons of leaves would not last. God killed some innocent animals, and put their skins on Adam and Eve as their clothes. God spilled the blood of the innocent lambs, because of the wrong Adam and Eve did. One day Jesus would be the lamb. But God made a promise that from the woman would come someone who would destroy Satan, so things could be right again. This would be the Redeemer, Genesis 3 verse 15. The Rescuer would restore what Adam had lost. This time Adam and Eve believed what God said, because they believed what God said they will live again one day. God said Adam and Eve had to leave the garden. Adam and Eve had to leave the Garden of Eden. God didn't want them to eat from another tree, the tree of life, and live forever as imperfect. God put some cherubs and a flaming sword that turned every way to guard the way to the tree of life, Genesis 3 verse 24. Satan has a plot, but God has a plan. Adam and Eve had children. R.A. Adam and Eve had two sons, Cain and Abel. Cain offered his very best vegetables and fruits to God, and Abel offered God his best lamb. God was happy with Abel's gift, but not with Cain's. Cain was mad. God warned Cain, but he did not listen to God. Cain killed his brother Abel, Genesis 4 verse 8, Hebrews 11 verse 4, 1 John 3 verse 12, Jude 1 verse 11. Later, Adam and Eve had another son, Seth. They had many more children. Adam lived to be 930 years old. And the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were 800 years, and he begot sons and daughters. Genesis 5 verse 4 Because of their faith Adam and Eve will live again eternally in God's kingdom on earth. Every person born after Adam and Eve do wrong things, because we are all children of Adam. Romans 5 verse 12 People are born wanting to do wrong. Children do wrong. Parents do wrong. Satan still wants people to not obey what God says in the Bible. We live in an evil world, Galatians 1 verse 4. For all these reasons, we all do wrong things. The Flood At one time there were only eight people who did right. They were Noah and his wife, his three sons, and their wives. Even the animals were bad. God told Noah that he would send a flood to destroy all the evil. God would start over with Noah and his family. It rained for 40 days. The flood covered all the earth just as God said. After the flood, God told Noah and his family to spread out and fill the earth with people and animals again. Tower of Babel The people refused to obey God and spread out. At that time, the people had only one language. God made them have many languages so that they would obey Him and spread out over the earth. Groups that all spoke the same language became nations. What happened to the nations? God gave the nations up. He left the people to themselves because human wisdom causes self-destruction. Because that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Romans 1 verse 21 Without God, the people would only get worse and worse. God was right, they were always fighting and doing wrong. They worshipped themselves and idols that they made from wood, stone, and metal, instead of God. The Lord God gave the Gentile nations up. God planned to return and to save them later through his own nation that he would make. By this time, God had instituted four things for people's protection. Free will. Marriage. Family. Nations. Abraham.
Abraham and Isaac. This time, instead of destroying the wicked people of the earth with a flood, God chose to make his own nation from one man, Abraham. God told Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy father's house, separate yourself unto a land, Israel, that I will shew thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and I N T H E shall all families of the earth be blessed. Genesis 12 verses 1 to 3. God's promises to Abraham, a land, a people, a blessing, forever. Genesis 13 verse 15. God told Abraham about a hard time to come for the special people that would come from him. They would be strangers in a land that was not theirs, Egypt, and serve them for 400 years, Genesis 15 verse 13, but God promised to bring them back to their land. God is able to say what will happen in the future in the Bible. Abraham had a son named Isaac. Isaac had a son named Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons. God changed Jacob's name to Israel. The 12 sons of Israel became 12 tribes. The 12 tribes make up God's nation. God's special people Israel would help God to rule the earth. God said that the Redeemer would come from the tribe of Judah. The Twelve Sons of Jacob 1. Reuben 2. Simeon 3. Levi 4. Judah 5. Dan 6. Naphtali 7. Gad 8. Asher 9. Issachar 10. Zebulun 11. Joseph 12. Benjamin Moses. Jacob and his twelve sons moved to Egypt and were captive four hundred years, just as God said. Pharaoh's daughter took care of Moses of the tribe of Levi. God talked to Moses in the burning bush on Mount Sinai. God led the nation of Israel out of Egypt by Moses just as God said. God brought Israel through the Red Sea on their way to the land God promised to Abraham. God gave his people the law through Moses on Mount Sinai. Israel was to be a kingdom of priests, Exodus 19 verse 6, to help God get. The other nations back from Satan. God would save anyone who believed that Israel's God was God and blessed Israel. Asterisk this is not people are saved today. Kingdom of priests. Eyes. However, while Moses was on the mountain with God getting the Ten Commandments, God's law, Israel's faith failed. Satan convinced them to worship him. They made an idol, a god they could see, a golden calf. God was mad and Moses was mad. Moses broke the stone tablets. Then he went back up the mountain to plead for his people. God gave Moses another copy of the Ten Commandments and more laws, 613 laws. Moses told the children of Israel that if they disobeyed God by worshiping idols, God would punish them seven times more, Leviticus chapter 26. David. God said that the Redeemer would come from David's family and would sit on his throne forever, 2 Samuel 7 verses 12 to 16. Daniel. Israel disobeyed God and were taken to the land of their enemy, Babylon. While in captivity, God gave Daniel the timetable for Israel. Their prince would come to be their king in 490 years, but a false prince would also come. The false prince would make a deal or agreement with Israel for seven bad years, Daniel 9, 2, 24-27. Jesus the Promised Redeemer Jesus was born right on time, Galatians 4 verse 4. Jesus was born of a virgin that was from David's family, just as God said. Before the virgin married a man, the Holy Ghost was involved in the making of baby Jesus. The angel of the Lord told Mary, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee, that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God, Luke 1 verse 35. Jesus is God's Son. 
Mary, and her husband Joseph, and baby Jesus. Jesus would save his people Israel from their sins, Matthew 1 verse 21. Jesus arrived on time just as God said to Daniel. Because Jesus was born of a virgin, the sin of Adam was not in him. He never did anything wrong. He never sinned. He lived a perfect life. John the Baptist said, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The seven bad years will come, Matthew 3 verses 2 and 7. He pointed Jesus out to Israel. When Jesus was a grown man, John the Baptist saw him and said, Behold the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world, John 1 verse 29. When John baptized Jesus in the water, God the Father spoke from heaven and said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased, Matthew 3 verse 17. The Spirit of God came down on Jesus like a dove. Jesus was tested by Satan in the wilderness. Satan heard that Jesus was the Son of God. The Spirit of God wanted Jesus to go into the desert. So Jesus obeyed and went there alone. Satan came to him just as he had come to Eve. Three times Satan tried to get Jesus to do wrong. Satan said, If you are the Son of God, Satan even offered to give Jesus the whole world and everything in it if he worshipped him, Matthew 4, Luke 4. But Jesus answered Satan with words that are written in the Bible. Jesus chose to obey God his Father. Satan left Jesus alone for a time. Jesus is the only person who never did anything wrong. Jesus had 12 special followers called apostles. Jesus had 12 apostles because Israel had 12 tribes. Jesus told his 12 apostles to tell his people about him and that they could live in his kingdom on earth. Jesus said go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and preach the kingdom of heaven is near, Matthew 10 verses 6 and 7. I'm in Peter Andrew, Matthew, James, Thomas, Thaddeus James. After Judas betrayed Jesus, he was replaced by Matthias, Acts 1 verse 26, John, Simon, Philip Bartholomew, Judas, Jesus declared himself to be the king of the Jews. Jesus came riding into Jerusalem, Zechariah 9 verse 9, just as God said. Jesus died on the cross. Jesus died on the cross for the sins of his people just as God said. He shed his blood. He was despised and rejected of men, Isaiah 53. But three days later, he was buried. He rose up from the grave in a body that will never die, just as God said. Thomas looks at the nail prints. Thomas had said, except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails. I will not believe. Eight days later Jesus said, Thomas, reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands. Be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God, John 20 verses 25 to 28. Jesus had said he was Israel's king, just as God said. Jesus went back to heaven. Jesus was with them for 40 days speaking about his kingdom. On the Mount of Olives, Jesus went back up to heaven in a cloud, Acts 1 verse 9. One more year for Israel. Jesus gave his nation Israel one more year to believe who he was. Jesus sent the Holy Ghost, like flames on their heads, to help his little flock of followers, Luke 12 verse 32, Acts 2 verses 1 to 4, Hebrews 2 verse 4. Peter preached to the men of Israel on Pentecost. On the Jewish feast day, Peter preached to the men of Israel the bad news of the cross. You ignorantly killed Jesus your king. But if you believe, he will come to set up his kingdom on earth, just as God said. As God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began, Acts 2, 321. 3,000 Jews believed. Stoning of Stephen. Most of the people of Israel did not believe in Jesus. Saul watched the coats of the religious leaders that threw stones at Stephen till he died, Acts 7. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. John 1 verse 11. They refused to believe what the Holy Ghost said through Stephen. Israel fell. Romans 11 verses 11 and 12. 
God put his nation Israel on hold. God interrupted what had been prophesied. Everything about the king and his kingdom on earth had been spoken by holy prophets of God since the world began, Luke 1 verse 70. Everything had happened just as God said. But now, God said what he had kept secret since the world began, Romans 16 verse 25. These are not the same, they are two different things. One was spoken, the other was kept secret. God had been talking about the earth, but now God began to talk about heaven to us through Paul. Two Gospels? Peter preached the gospel of circumcision. Paul preached the gospel of uncircumcision. Peter preached one message to the circumcision, Israel. Paul preached another message to the uncircumcision, all nations. Peter and his little group of true believers in Israel believed that Jesus of Nazareth was the Son of God, the King of the Jews, who will live on earth. Asterisk, this is not what we are to believe to be saved. Christ from heaven had a new message to a new group of people. Who did Jesus pick to tell all people about it? The Salvation of Saul of Tarsus, Paul God surprised Satan by saving one of his enemies who had been at the stoning of Stephen. God delayed punishing Israel for their unbelief in him. Jesus Christ began to show grace and peace to everyone who would believe and join the new group. Acts 9, 22, 26. The risen, glorified Jesus suddenly appeared to Saul of Tarsus on the road to Damascus. Satan said, What? That is not just as God said. All things had been just as God said from Genesis to Acts 9. But now God said something new and different. Saul was on his way to arrest the followers of Jesus in his ministry on earth. Saul did not believe that Jesus was who he said he was. Saul thought he was helping God to get rid of false believers. When Jesus appeared to Saul, Saul knew he had been wrong. Jesus really was God. The Lord Jesus Christ told Saul that he was going to begin a new ministry from heaven to save another group of people to live in the heavenly places, and Paul would be his helper. Why did Jesus need another apostle when he already had twelve? The twelve helped Jesus with his ministry on earth. Paul helped Jesus with his ministry from heaven, Acts 26 verses 14 to 18. Jesus made Saul his one apostle, to the one body of Christ. One is the number for this group. Saul began using his Greek name, Paul. Paul went all over the known world telling everyone the news that Jesus was saving a new group of people to live in heaven. Paul said that when Christ died on the cross, he saved two groups of believers. What must I do to be saved? Paul said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Acts 16 verse 31. Paul preached the good news of the cross. Christ died for our sins, was buried, and rose again the third day. Jesus has done it all. If we think we have to add anything, we say it was not enough. The new group is called the body of Christ. Jesus is the head. One day the body will be joined to the head and be complete. Apostle Paul The things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. Rome 1 C.O.R. 1437 KJV 4 Damascuses Arabia Cyprus Antioch 0000, 000, 000 Sus The Jerusalem Council One day Jesus told Paul to tell Peter and the others at Jerusalem that he had to interrupt what they were doing. They had to stop taking new believers into the kingdom on earth group, Acts 15. When Peter and the others saw and understood what Jesus Christ was doing now, they agreed to stop and just take care of those believers that they had. They all shook hands, Galatians 2 verses 7 to 9. The gospel of the grace of God was not known before the Lord revealed it to the Apostle Paul. Being the apostle to all people was not easy. Sometimes Paul was put in jail. Paul wrote 13 letters to the new group of believers. Jesus Christ has been saving many people to live in heaven for a long time. 
nearly 2,000 years. Why did God keep the mystery a secret? God kept the mystery a secret. God had to wait to tell anyone about the secret that he would save another group to live in heaven. The mystery was that God would use this group to rule heavenly places. God did not want Satan to know his plan. If Satan had known God's plan, Satan would not have allowed Jesus to be crucified. Satan did not know that he lost both the earth and his place in heaven until he heard what Paul said. 1 Corinthians 2 verses 6 to 8 Christ told Paul God's solution to man's sin problem. The Father could now give the believers in heaven and on earth his spirit, his righteousness. Romans 3 verses 21 to 28 Satan was mad. God proved he is all wise. Romans 16 verse 27 Ephesians 3 verse 10 Colossians 2 verse 15 Things Paul said Paul is our apostle. Romans to Philemon, the body of Christ, the mysteries. Paul was speaking to us. He is our apostle. Romans 11 verse 13. I didn't get my information from a man, but straight from Jesus Christ. Galatians 1 verses 11 and 12. Christ crucified and risen again is the power of God to us who are saved. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 18. Romans 1 verse 16. Believers are delivered from the power of darkness into the kingdom of his dear Son. By his blood, we have forgiveness of our sins. Colossians 1 verse 13. By one spirit are we all baptized into one body. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 13. While on earth, Jesus Christ was a minister to Israel to confirm the promises God made to their fathers. Romans 15 verse 8. The fathers of Israel are Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. From now on we are not to follow Jesus Christ's ministry on earth, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 16. Paul The only apostle God sent to U.S. Gentiles. After Israel's rejection of Peter's message, Paul was given a special commission from the Lord Jesus Christ in Acts 9. The specific ministry of grace to the Gentiles begins with Paul. For this cause I Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given. Me to you ward, F3, colon 1-2 KJV Mata. Jesus told the mystery to Paul that had been hidden God. Paul said, God is giving us a time of grace. No one knew about the mystery until God gave it to me for you. Ephesians 3 verses 1-9. Paul is telling people of all nations what they should believe, Romans 16 verses 25 and 26. Follow me as I follow what Christ from heaven told me about the mystery, 1 Corinthians 4 16, 11, colon 1, 14 37, Philippians 3 verse 17. Study the Bible and divide truth from truth. We divide the truth God gave to Paul from the rest of the Bible, 2 Timothy 2 verse 15. Studying God's Word is how we show God we love Him and grow in our understanding of the Bible. This makes God happy with us. Love heaven, because that is where you will live forever, not on the earth. Colossians 3 verse 2, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 1. We have a part in God's plan to glorify His Son. Ephesians 1 verses 11 to 12. God's word can help us be wise, 2 Timothy 3 verse 15. Paul told us what God's will is, who will have all men to be saved, and to come unto the knowledge of the truth, 1 Timothy 2 verse 4. All the Bible is profitable to make us mature in our understanding of what God says, 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 and 17. If you understand Paul's words, then that will help us to understand all God's words, 2 Timothy 2 verse 7. Paul wrote the last words in the Bible. It is interesting that the last part to be written in the Bible is in the middle. Jesus gave Paul the job to finish writing the Bible, to fulfill the word of God, Colossians 1 verse 25. The Bible is complete. The mystery had been hid in God, Ephesians 3 verse 9, but Christ had Paul write about it to us in 13 letters, Romans to Philemon. Call 125 whereof I am made a minister, according to the dispensation of God which is given to me for you, to fulfill the word of God. Call 126 even the mystery which hath been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. KJB JSP 
the rapture. Christ will come back with the souls of the saints. He will appear in the air to catch up all the dead and living heavenly believers. Jesus only told Paul about the catching up which is called the rapture. Paul wrote about it in 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 16 and 17, and elsewhere. The Tribulation After the rapture of the body of Christ, Jesus Christ will continue what he started with Peter. Because Israel worshipped idols, there will be seven bad years of trouble for Israel, Jeremiah 30 verse 7, just as God said. It will be a chance for eternal life in the earthly kingdom. Tribulation events, survival map, tribulation judgments, second coming of Jesus Christ. Revelation 19 verses 11 to 21. Seals. Revelation 6. Rapture of the church. 1 Thess 4 colon 16 18. Church age. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Trumpets. Revelation 8, 9, 11. Three and a half years. Bulls. Revelation 16. Seven year tribulation. Three and a half years. Great tribulation. Millennium. Eternity. Do not accept the mark of the beast. 666. Hebrews to Revelation are the books that help Israel to know more about the seven bad years, which Daniel told Israel about, and the future kingdom. Hebrews is another name for the people of Israel. In the middle of Israel's trouble, Satan and his bad angels will be cast out of the heaven to the earth, Revelation 12 verses 7 to 9. The body of Christ will take over the heavenly places that Satan and his bad angels were cast out from. The body of Christ will help God to rule in heaven. They will make sure none of the good angels turn bad. Second coming of Christ. Watch, therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. Matt 2400 hours 42. Then Jesus will return from heaven with his angels to rule the earth for a thousand years. When he comes the living believers see that he still has the nail prints in his hands, and they will be sad, because Israel didn't believe him the first time he came, Zechariah 12 verse 10. But Jesus will comfort them and bring them into his kingdom. Jesus will resurrect his people. Abraham, King David, and others will live again, Matthew 8 verse 11, Jeremiah 30 verse 9. David will rule over Israel. Christ will rule the world. The twelve apostles will rule over the twelve tribes. His nation of Israel will rise and be a kingdom of priests to help Jesus save the nations on the earth. Isaiah 61 verses 1 to 6. Satan will be locked up for that thousand years. Revelation 20 verse 3. After the thousand years is over, Jesus will release Satan. Those who follow Satan then will die by fire from heaven. Revelation 20 verse 9. The Great White Throne. Jesus Christ will sit on the great white throne and judge all the lost unbelievers. In the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. Apostle Paul, Romans 2 verse 16, KJV. All who followed Satan will be cast into the lake of fire. Death and hell will also be cast into the lake of fire. New Heaven and New Earth. God will make a new heaven and a new earth for his two groups of believers. All believers will have new everlasting bodies, his spirit, his life, and his light. Heaven will have God's light. God will live with his people and rule both places. God will gather heaven and earth into one. God will remove the separation of the third heaven and it will be one heaven again. God will rule and be in his one kingdom of heaven and earth that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven, and which are on earth, even in him. Ephesians 1 verse 10 Most of the Bible is about the king and his kingdom on earth. Only Paul tells us about God's heavenly plan for the body of Christ. The Kingdom of God The Kingdom of God Israel God's rule of Israel has earthly people and the nations as king, the church, the body of Christ, God's rule of his, heavenly people, as Lord and head, God's rule over all in heaven and earth. 
By one cross, Jesus saved both heaven and earth believers. The Father can give His Son's righteousness to anyone that believes. We will glorify and exalt the Lord Jesus Christ forever. All the Bible is for our learning. In Hebrews we learn that without faith it is impossible to please Him, God. Hebrews 11 verse 6. We also learn that blood of animals could never permanently take away sins. Hebrews 10 verse 11. Man sinned, so a man had to die. The God-man, Jesus Christ, died in our place. Jesus took the punishment for sin that all people deserve and God gives us what only Jesus deserves. The devil has a plot, but God has the plan. The end. But wait a minute, tell me again, what must I do to be saved? This is how to be saved. Jesus has done it all, and there is nothing left for us to do. All we do is believe, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, 1 Corinthians 15 verses 3 and 4. Death. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4 KJB. Burial. Resurrection. JSP. Will you believe? When the Father sees believers, He sees His beloved Son Jesus. We are accepted in the Beloved, Ephesians 1 verse 6. God made Him to be sin. For us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Him. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21. He took my sin. Sin. Righteousness of God. I received. His righteousness. Jesus took our sin on the cross, and when we believe we receive his righteousness. This is incredible. What a deal. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21. Because we have the righteousness of Jesus on us, Father God sees us as just and right. We will be allowed to live with God in heaven. Past. What God did. Genesis, through mid-Acts, time past, with the nation of Israel, you are here, present, Romans, through Philemon, you are here, what God, what God, is doing will do, but now, with the body of Christ, future, Hebrews, through Revelation, ages to come, with the nation of Israel, these are the three basic time periods in the KJV Bible, according to our Apostle Paul. Time passed. Ephesians 2 verses 11 and 12. But now, Ephesians 2 verse 13, ages to come. Ephesians 2 verse 7. The Holy Bible. God's perfectly preserved words are found in the King James Bible. God's Word, tested and tried. King James Bible, trust it. God talks to us through his word. We talk to God in prayer. Prayer is just talking to God. People are not perfect, but God's word is perfect, like he is. God's word is our absolute authority. When we understand what God has done, is doing, and will do, we can have peace in our hearts. No matter what is going on around us, we know God is faithful. Everything will turn out just as God said. About the author Marianne Manley was saved in 1990. She has more than 25 years of experience teaching the Bible. 18 of those years were with the Iwana Clubs where she earned her citation award for Bible memorization. A retired registered nurse and midwife, she has devoted the rest of her life to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, Ephesians 3 verse 9. She teaches a Bible study in her home, which is available on Facebook and YouTube. The Manleys have three children and live in San Diego. For more details about God's plan for heaven and earth with color pictures read, God's secret a primer with pictures for how to rightly divide the word of truth. For still more information, read any of Marianne's Bible commentaries on Paul's letters. All her books are available on Amazon.com. The author may be contacted by email at MarianneManley at sbcglobal.net.
Follow her on Facebook at facebook.com slash marianne.manley.7 and God's Secret Facebook page at facebook.com God's Secret A Primer with pictures. Please visit her website, www.mariannemanley.com.